Hello and welcome to the Barcelo Maya Beach Hotel. We are here to look at both this hotel and the Barcelo Maya Caribe Hotel, which are two of six hotels here in Riviera Maya, Mexico at the Barcelo Resort. Both these hotels share a lot of the same amenities and meeting spaces and restaurants, so that's why we're going to be looking at both of them together. Starting with the Barcelo Maya Beach Hotel, walking in past the Porco Share, it has this beautiful, almost tribal decor inside. Turning down the left side past the gift shop, this is where the meeting spaces are. There's sort of a quasi mini convention center between the two hotels. So if I pass through this and went out the other side, I'd be at the Barcelona Maya Caribe. So let's head back into the lobby here to look at stuff in here. In the central lobby with the seating area off to the left and the check-in area off to the right, let's show you where we are here on a map. So right over here, this is the Maya Beach Hotel, and over here is the Maya Caribe Hotel, also shared by these spaces. Right here is the Barcelo Maya Mall, which we're going to look at, a water park, a spa, and some pools, buffets, and of course, the beach. We're gonna start down here in this area to look at the restaurants, the lobby spaces, the meeting rooms, and all that sorts of stuff. So as you can see, these hotels are separated into two and three wings each, respectively, with this side of the wings being closest to the lobby and the restaurants, and these sides being closest to the beach. A lot of people have their own preference, but I will say this is a lot bigger than it seems in the aerial map. So coming this way, actually, all you get are rooms. So if you walk out this way, you can turn left towards the rooms. We do have the Vacaciones Barcelo to let you know about excursions in the neighborhood and the internet service. Wi-Fi is free throughout the resort. You can see each of the different hotels has its own theme, and I think this one's beautiful. A lot of the newer hotels don't have the same character that the older ones do. Even though this is an older one, it has been renovated. So hooking around the side here, we just have some more shops, a bar, and the premium level lounge. If you get to premium level, that just means you're in the rooms that are facing closest to the ocean. Over here, we do have mixed Mexico Lindo restaurant. Let's check that out. Look at how beautiful this entrance is. Coming over here to the right, here's a look at the menu. You can screenshot this and take a closer look. Here's a look at the inside of the restaurant. So here's Mexico Lindo right in front of us. Here are the meeting spaces right behind us. We're going to turn this way and make a left down the first of those big wings. There are three wings in this hotel and all of their breakfasts are served right here at the breakfast buffet. This is an all-inclusive resort, which means drinks and food are covered everywhere, except for a couple minor spots like if you were to get drinks at the casino and you weren't playing casino or if you went to order a bottle of wine to your room that costs money but everything else is included here out to the right you can just see the style of the rooms on the outside all of them do have a balcony which is nice coming over here is the cuckoo con teatro at night different hotels will put on some pretty incredible shows i think last night this one had a magic show but sometimes they'll host karaoke broadway style spectacular shark style shows and more. Here you can see the seating is all around tables. They do encourage you to dr bring drinks in. Now we're walking past the Cuckoo Khan Theater, away from the Barcelo Maya Beach Hotel and towards the Carib Hotel. Over here, it's basically the same layout, but instead of three different wings, it has two. But it also has the Barcelo Maya Mall, which we're going to look at because there is a lot of stuff there. So on this side of the theater, to the right of that is the Carib version of the buffet. It's basically just a mirror version of the one that's on the other side. We also have the exact same fountain set up here and the exact same chairs. I'm sensing a theme here, right? But you'll notice on that side is something different. That's the Barcelona Maya Mall. Heading into the lobby, mirroring the other restaurant, here we have La Fuente, Restaurante Español. Let's take a look at the menu here. And here's a look inside the restaurant as well. Now, I'm sorry to pass on this news. I did dine at La Fuente last night and it is very, very mediocre. It is plain food. So if you do come here, I would just ask for some chilies or some pepper or something to spice up your food. Now, right across from this restaurant is the Barcelo Club. In addition to the Barcelo Club, this hotel and the other hotel both have Barsi Clubs, which will look at by the pool, but that's just a place where you can drop your kids off for the day. Over here are some more meeting rooms that are part of the same complex as we saw in the other hotel. Now we're gonna turn this way and check out the lobby of this beautiful hotel. So here we are at the Barcelo Maya Carib. What a beautiful entrance and what an absolutely beautiful lobby. Very similar theme to the Barcelo Maya Beach Hotel and a similar layout as well. Of course, we have the meeting spaces off to the right in the Vacaciones Barcelo location. We have check-in over here to the right. Over here to the left is the premium level, almost a mere duplicate of the Barcelo Maya Beach Hotel. And then up here, we have Strikers, the bowling alley and mini golf. We're gonna look at that once we get towards the mall. In fact, let's go there now. Let's teleport to the Barcelona Maya Mall. 
Okay, and we made it. And this is not the mall behind me. This is Plaza Mexicana, which we looked at over at the Colonial video. Instead, here is the Barcelona Maya Mall. Let's take a closer look. So there are a lot of jewelry and sunglasses and all those sorts of knickknack shops in the middle. We also have a working carousel, which is pretty crazy. But looking over here to the right, we have a casino. Over at the casino, drinks are free with house alcohol. They have slots, they have blackjack. Last night they were playing three card. They have roulette. And what's nice is here, it's only a $5 minimum, so it's pretty easy to play. Very sad that the reindeer didn't survive the casino. Right across from the casino is Dark World, Lair of the Undead. I thought this was going to be a Horror Night style maze. Unfortunately, it's just a room with a bunch of animatronics and dark lights. So maybe you would like that if you don't like scary stuff. Next to it on this side, we have a handbag shop and then a main gift shop over here. To the left of casino over here is Tokyo, which is a Japanese hibachi style restaurant and La Trattoria, which is an Italian restaurant. Like the restaurants inside the hotel, there's one central lobby, and then on the left side is the Italian restaurant, and on the right side is Hibachi. And to the left of Trattoria is Strikers, which is the bowling alley and mini golf location here at the resort. They also have fun arcade games, pool, and honestly, the mini golf is pretty fun. And in addition to the all-day, all-you-can-eat buffet, they do have a fully stocked bar, which makes this sort of a sports bar. Also in Strikers, they do have a giant screen playing whatever sports game is going on right now. Now, right across from Strikers is just a bar here, which kind of acts as a quasi lobby bar because the Caribe Hotel is right behind it. Right next to it is this massive screen, which as you can see, you can play Xbox games are. It's $8 for 30 minutes, which was a little too expensive for my taste. Anyway, next to this giant Xbox screen over here is one, which looks like it'd be a really poppin' nightclub. Unfortunately, it is only for kids. But right in front of it is a fun mini skate park. This isn't real ice. They just sort of put water on top of these boards. I will say I've seen in person Olympic figure skaters on this sort of ice and they have tripped multiple times. This is not a safe ice alternative and just because you can ice skate does not mean you can be on one of these. But as fun as this mall is, I want to head over to the pools and amenities of this resort because there is a lot to look at there. So let's pop right over. And here we are by the pool. Let's check everything out behind me. And I love coming out here before the sun is fully up just to see the beautiful sunrise out. As you can see, it's just almost like a postcard right now. This pool completely empty. And you'll notice this pool layout feels very similar to the tropical and colonial. Like right here, we do have a swim up pool bar on the back of a regular pool bar on the back of a buffet. Here it's called the Rancho Grand. They basically all serve the same types of food, pizza, burgers, hot dogs, ice cream, and they all have the same hours as well. This one closes at 3.30 p.m. Looking around the pool here, because this was the first pool, you can see how a lot of things were added after the fact. Like this pool volleyball net was not here at the beginning, so the layout doesn't really make sense that it's here because it blocks off the entire flow of the pool. Where the other hotels will have big, huge water park sections, this is really not too big. Coming over towards the middle a little bit, we have a gift shop and restrooms. Over here, we have a lap pool and just so many chaise lounges and hammocks and every place for you to sit. Please keep in mind that because of the size of the two hotels that it's around the beach in the Caribe, these chaise lounges and hammocks will be completely full by probably 11 a.m. Especially if you're coming around New Year's when I'm here, they fill up very quickly. Now to the left of this building is a rock climbing wall, sand pit, and turf basketball. Now on the other side of that is the Barsi Club. Now the Barsi Club is different in this hotel than it is in all the other ones because this one does not revolve around a water park. It revolves around a playground. And again, this is just because it is an older hotel. So it was made before this hotel had any water parks. Some people might like that because they might want their kid just around playground equipment. I, for one, as a kid, would probably be happy with either. Now heading back this way is the Kuku Khan Theater that's between both the beach and the Caribbean hotels. And right over here, we have a statue not of Kuku Khan, but just of another Aztec or Mayan god. Now this side of the pool is just smaller because these two hotel wings are smaller than the three hotel wings on the other side. On this side, we also have a swim up and walk up pool bar, and we have a buffet here called Captain Morgan, which on the inside has a big pirate ship. Now if we head down the path even more and head to the right, there's a wedding venue, and you can see there are lots of lights set up for the seating out here, and if we head even further, that's when we get to the Dolphin Aris Dolphin Show. But we already checked that out in another hotel video, 
video for the Tropical and Colonial, so we're gonna head this way and check out some more stuff. And just so you can see where we are, right in front of the Riviera Maya sign on the left side is the water sports, on the right side is Dolphin Aris. We are going to make a right turn here and head down this path because on the right side here is a really cool building. And that building is the fitness center and spa. Now I've only experienced the spa at this location once, but they had a cryo bath, which was negative 50 something degrees and a hot tub right next to each other and go inside the cryo bath for maybe 30 seconds and then you go in the hot tub for 10 minutes and it is the greatest feeling, especially once you do it over and over again. And directly next to the spa in the same building over here is the fitness center for these two resorts. But we're gonna keep walking even past this to head over something else. And at the end of this long path, is what I've been waiting to show you, which is this really cool themed water park. Now stay till the end here because I do have something to share that might make you want to not come here. But this water park is a great place for kids and adults. There's so many slides. It's called Pirate Island. There's a huge bucket out here. There are three slides out front, a pirate ship to climb around, and on the back, you have the surf ride. Now let's take a closer look. And here's a look at the surf ride. It's basically just a flow rider with two sides. So you can have two people surfing or kneeboarding at the same time. This is all on the back of the Barcelo Maya Mall. So right over here is that scary maze thing. And to the right of me over here is a basketball court and tennis courts and all sorts of extra stuff. This is all on the back of the Colonial Hotel that we looked at in another video. Also from here, you can see the back of the urgent care, which is part of Plaza Mexicana, and you can see they have ambulance parking. So it's great to know that this is here. But heading back to the water park here, unfortunately, the problem is that it now costs money to enter. It didn't used to, we've been coming here since this opened, and this used to be free, but it now costs $20 per person. I'm sorry, that is a massive ripoff. There are so many great slides all around the entire resort and you know, you don't need to spend $20 to come here. Now with all that behind us, I know this is a daunting video. There's a lot to watch and there's a lot I didn't share about. So if you have any questions about parts of the hotel I didn't share, including the rooms, but if you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer every single one of them because I love coming here. This is my fifth individual year coming here and I have a great time and I just want more people to experience this fantastic place. So be sure to check out my other videos from this hotel series, including the all-new Riviera Adults Only Hotel. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.